Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Grixis control. We're going to go ahead and try this one again. We played it the other day and it felt really good. Um, so I want to go ahead and, and kind of run it back. Only making one small change and that's adding an, a second or sorry, adding a third ritual of soot in the sideboard instead of the third cry of the carnarium because the matchups like where we really want Cry of the Carnarium, we also have like Moment of Craving that's that's pretty good there. And Ritual of Soot's usually pretty good against the decks where Cry of the Carnarium is good also. Um, you know, basically the only one being like Arc, Arc Light Phoenix where it's not. But there's a lot of green creature decks around these days. A lot of Wild Growth Walker and Gruel Spellbreaker decks. And against all those, I definitely want a third Ritual of Soot. So we got a third Ritual of Soot in here. Um, that's the only change that I'm making. So as y'all know, I'm debating between about uh, four decks or so uh, for the uh, MCQ this weekend. They'll be on Arena. Um, you know, I'm debating between like Grixis here, Bant Arcbow that we'll play at the end of the stream, and then the two decks from yesterday, like uh, the Gruul Midrange and the Four Color Dread Horde. So we'll kind of see which one of those that we end up playing. Um, but yeah, so that's so Grixis Control, of course, is is uh, one of those decks that I'm thinking about. I kind of like all my matchups except for against the Wild Growth Walker Command, the Dread Horde decks. I think that that's really where I'm going to struggle. Um, basically, stopping Command the Dread Horde, bringing everything back, even if I like kill everything and take, you know, take command of the battlefield. They draw a late game Command the Dread Horde, and uh, that that can be a problem. But besides that. I like where this deck is positioned throughout the metagame. Even think that we have an okay chance against red, even. Um, so I don't think... So Ashiok's not real... Like, yeah, we could sideboard like Ashiok to try to eat their graveyard. But I don't think that's really that effective because they can just still take like the cards from our graveyard. Um, I, I was thinking... I am thinking about maybe having like my own like my own copy of a Command the Dread Horde in the sideboard for like those later games we kill a lot of things then we just get everything from the graveyard first. That's that's like a sideboard card that I could certainly see playing. Um and I don't really know where I'd want to put it though. I guess maybe over like one of the two negates because I don't love negate these days with with little Teferi everywhere. Uh, you know, having a card that's only castable at instant speed isn't very reliable. I don't know. I'm gonna play a little bit with this with this 75, and and you know we'll be playing ranked, so we can change our our list throughout the time. But that's that that's the card that I'm considering adding in in my sideboard for that matchup is just my own copy of Command the Dread Horde. I, I don't think Ashiok is very good. I don't think that that's I don't think that's a, a very good plan of just try to exile their graveyard and then have them be stuck. As I was just talking about, um, they can just take the cards from from my graveyard. They can just wait for some more things to die. I don't and Ashiok on its own is just not a very strong card. <laughs> anyway, what's up? What's up, store? What, what's up, Matthew? This question is: Why don't you side finale of eternity instead of ritual? Um, I don't know. Finale of eternity can can get three things. Ritual can get more. Ritual, like. I, I like, okay, basically, I like Finale of Eternity in decks where you have three CMC or less creatures that you don't want to kill yourself. But that's not our deck. Um, I'm going to try Tyrant Scorn in this. Like, we just, we can just use a Sweeper to kill everything. We don't have any creatures three CMC or less that we don't have to worry about destroying. But I think whenever you're playing, like, your own, like, Wild Growth Walkers or whatever, Finale of Eternity is a, a better option for you. All right, so I I kept up the ability to Tyrant Scorn and kill this Paradise Druid if they tapped it, but they didn't tap it, so. I'll just get the Disinformation campaign going and try to look for some more land drops. It's 
a good hit. I leave the Golgari now. Trade with the Soren and draw a card. Not bad. Yeah, we've done we have done well with Mono White Angels. It's true. Hmm. In a little bit of an awkward spot. I guess it's just Bolas. I would like to kill the Paradise Druid, but it just doesn't use our mana very effectively at all. Um, contempting the Golgari Queen. The Golgari Queen I'm not as worried about as other Planeswalkers. But, like, they, they didn't play a land, so I, I would have liked to just kill the Paradise Druid, but... It only spends two mana. All right, so it looks like we're going to ritual a set here. Being ruthless has its rewards. Or I guess cry. Trust me, you'll thank me later. So if they bounce Nickel Bolas, you know, then they'll have to discard another card. So I, I bet they're probably weighing that. Of course, they'll draw a card, though, also. Hey, Furious Fred. Yeah, no, doing well today. I am not making this up as I go. Just starting the stream off. You can't deny the draw with Scorn. They, they draw a card whether they bounce it something or not. Timio. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Let's try this. All right, so they did have a, a command. I guess I may have to contempt this Golgari Queen. Alive or alive. Hey Travis. Biogroom. Howdy. But Travis, thank you so much for that sub there. That was a pretty early concession. Yeah, this can be a tough matchup for us. So we want this third set. Did 
Definitely want all these duresses. Gonna take out Enter the God Eternals. Um, and then Cry of the Carnarium. Definitely a moment of craving. I mean, exiling is really nice. But it doesn't hit Wild Growth Walker. That's the huge problem here. No, Travis, that doesn't. No, the, the YouTube videos don't have any music in them, so they're not they're not uh, muted at all. So yeah, I'd recommend using the, the YouTube channel. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. I just have to cut something. So, cut one of the Tyrant Scorns. We saw like that game. We never really used it, but you know we didn't really need to. But Tyrant, I, I do like Tyrant Scorns. So I just got rid of one of them and then got rid of a Discovery. Considered getting rid of an Elder Spell or a Duress. Not actually playing those, but I think I think we do like those. All right. Well, we're just gonna make them discard a whole lot of cards each and every turn. We'll choose. Duress. All right, we need some more spells over here. They need some more lands. So it's, they can't actually cast Jade Light right now, but they can hit that, help them hit land drops. I'm, I'm just gonna take Tamio though. Tamio is pretty great. Hope they don't draw a green source for Jade Light. Good. And keeping the, the discovery, they'll pick up the disinformation campaign back for me. Um... No, let's look for let's look for a threat. Dang, we would have rather had Elder Spell than this Blood Crypt here. But we're still another card deeper. I can no longer stand by and watch. This might be a bad idea. Is sweet. Ooh. Down goes Jade Light. So I will be able to Bedevil plus Campaign next turn, and then Flip Bull is the turn after. I definitely need to bedevil that. You would make an excellent informant for Hopefully they whiff. Because obviously they're going to take out because otherwise bullets would kill it. No, they didn't whiff. Ugh. Ugh. Trust me. I this is the problem here. Our time together is finished. Well, <clears throat> gonna start trying to, to attack their life total, not let them get as many cards back with Command the Dread Horde. Obviously, best case scenario is they don't have a land. It's like the only only thing we can hope for right now. And I 
Tamio says that I can't make them discard, so I have to kill the Tamio there. But yeah, if they if they just hit the land drop here, I die. I have to just keep attacking. No land. Ridiculous. I could like go war boss route, but then I can't like war boss route's really bad against wow growth walker. But if they don't have wow growth walker, maybe I do go. Let's let's try this on the play, which means we're taking out so, which means I need the extra scorn to kill wow growth walker. I don't know if this is a good plan. I don't know if I like this plan. Nah, I don't I don't really like that plan. Um, so what if I play negates, though? Now they have the Lil Teferi, but maybe we can kill Lil Teferi with all these removal spells. I could see them taking Ascanta or Thought Razor, either one, honestly, here. And I, I guess if they have a whole lot of Planeswalkers, they could take Elder Spell, or if they have a whole bunch of creatures, they could take Soot, but probably not. And I don't want to just tell them the card that I drew. Don't really like where we're at right now. Dang. Really want to draw two more lands. This is why I'm playing 26, even with like the discoveries and everything. And some people say why well, you're playing so many lands, but you got to hit your land drops. Just have to. Good. Now keep them off of white mana as much as I know. As far as I know. Ugh. Ugin, you're killing me. I need to land. I was going to be taking up Nickel Bolas, of course, to keep drawing more cards and make them, get, you know, get rid of a card in hand. Uh, what a killer. It's the difference in the game. Do you hit the land drop or not? I 
I definitely considered when I was sideboard, I was definitely considering taking this card out because it just costs so much mana and uh, they have like a, a better light game than us and everything. Certainly considering taking out Dugan. We could definitely see it being correct to take it out. If I do get to play Ugin, of course, I'll be ticking up and making two twos, not killing the Krasis. If I draw a land this next turn. I have a command. I don't know, I guess I haven't. I am one again. Yeah, they just they just return command with Tamio. That's all they should be doing. Hey Z Baj. A moat of my power. Seek and find. I have learned all I can. Have been foiled. I guess they're only at six, though. They can't, like, another command doesn't do a, a, a ton for them. I am Tamio. It is an honor to let me aid your research. I'd really like to draw Nicobolus the Ravager or Kefnet. Nope. I question this outcome. I can't really play. Uh, I can't really play Ugin kill Tamio. Then Ugin will just die. Tamio's so good. Tamio can just return Vraska and then kill me. If I play Ugin. Jeez, I'm just dead. I mean, I can just bedevil something to stay alive, but that's not really keeping me alive. I can Ugin minus. We are but moats in a vast not winning that game, though. I think my, my out is my opponent playing bad here and just missing lethal. I think that's that's my only out. But yeah, if I if I Ugin you know, Ugin ticking up like this, this my creature shouldn't block. Because they should just Tamio and yeah, they're looking at their graveyard and they tap their mana. Carefully, so yeah, they're gonna go get Braska. Braska kill my token, and they swing for lethal. Yeah. I have learned much from my ancestors. My only out was they didn't realize they could do that. That's like the one matchup I don't want to face. That's it. I don't want to face that matchup at all with this Grixis deck. And that's probably a bad spot to be. Maybe the war boss plan is what I should be doing, honestly. I don't know. War boss plan is just so so bad if they whoops. Oh and one. 
The Warboss plan is just so bad if they have a bunch of Explorer creatures. But they have just a bunch of Planeswalkers, it's great. Uh, no, Zibaj. I'm not. Uh, sorry, Matthew. It's a bad sign for, for Grixis how I am struggling that much with against that Dreadhorde deck, but like I said whenever I played the Dreadhorde deck yesterday, I don't um, I haven't really found decks that it's that, that deck is too bad against right now. These are good cards. Sure I'm only playing one spell a turn, but these are good cards. I don't think Ashiok would help at all. I don't I don't like Ashiok in that matchup. We've talked about it twice before there, but no, it's Ashiok doesn't help you. The best card that I can think of that was a really good turn for them. The best card that I can think of for that matchup is your own command, the, is just sideboarding command the Dreadhorde and just taking the cards first. I'm trying to do that, trying to have your, your command the Dreadhorde before they cast a command the Dreadhorde. And so that's that's probably what I need to do with the sideboard is is find how to how to fit one or two command the dread hordes in my sideboard. Maybe on Mord Ego, honestly. Maybe. So no land drop. Considering contempting the Llanowar Elf here, they, they didn't have a land drop. But the thing is, they they discarded a land also, so I don't, I don't know exactly what they got going on over there. They just like discard a land and just hope to draw another. I don't know what's going on over there. I, I'm thinking this card can take over the Enter the God Eternal. So, like, normally I would be kind of scared of, like, my Nicol Bolas uh, dying in that scenario of, like, playing playing it and having it die like that. But I think this card, Enter the God Eternals, can take over. They discarded another land. So they're just not playing lands. They're just going to discard their lands. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Jelly Tug? Four good spells there. Growth Chamber, Goblin, Spellbreaker, Lightning Strike. That helped. You're a diamond two trying to get to mythic. You can do it.
Okay, so we're at nine. Seems like we've stabilized. I think we got this game. I was considering just casting the Ritual of Soot there, and then like the next turn, Big Bolus tick up. But I, I think we could have just even played some defense there, and then still next turn, Big Bolus tick up. Didn't really even need to Ritual of Soot yet. Uh, definitely bringing in the other Soot, though, and the Moment of Craving, and this Contempt, and enter the God Eternals. So that 64 campaign is maybe a little slow here. Um, don't need Ugin. That can go. Rampage doesn't seem spectacular. I guess making them sack Planeswalkers if we see Planeswalkers. We didn't see any, though. Phoenix is a card I need to be a little worried about. Maybe it's just campaign on the draw. Yeah, we'll just do that. Let's keep in all disc removal. The thing I I dislike the least about this hand is just one black source. Ooh, I look forward to seeing you run into a sack. Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. But definitely like the turn two removal. And being on the draw, figured we'll Draw some other things, which we have discovery and. I've lived with animals my entire life. Eternals. That's like a short way to say this card. You want to play just fire? Eternals. Let's light it up. All right, we need to find some planeswalker removal. Ugh. Yeah, I gotta keep them both. Need the other black source. So we'll just keep the, the blood crypt first so I can put that into play tapped right now. I can go no I can problem. bedevil Chandra this turn, and then I can have like Nicol Bolas kill Domri. But obviously we have to worry about whatever creatures they have also. Cinder vines. I was raised by wolves. Okay. Though they might have also just been big dogs. They just didn't play the forest that they exiled? What was going on? Whatever. Figure it out on your own. We won't answer to other guilds. Some more good mills, a Chandra and a Sarkin. And a Lanorolf. Go with the Pelt Collector, of course. It's a it's a more valuable card than the Goblin. If I kill the Goblin, then Goblin the Pelt Collector destroy. gets a counter, because whenever creatures die, the Pelt Collector gets a counter. So the, the Pelt Collector would have been a 3-2 also. And the three a three two with the opportunity to grow. Need more black mana. Play this thing. Make the multi. 
multiverse in my image. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Defiance. Right. Before they have like something else that fights and all that kind of stuff. And you know how they have that plus one also. Just getting rid of that. Ugh, that was like the one card I didn't want to see too much. We have the Kefnet that can block it though. So I was a little worried about that card. I will return one day. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. <clears throat> no attacks. Just reached down for the first time? Good job. Way to go. I have other plans. My intellect is without limit. No attacks. All right. The Dragon God and the Ravager can go and take that one down. Pretty commanding win there. All right, all right. One and one. There you go. Good job, Matthew. Today, all three decks that we've or all three opponents that we've played against have been like right next to us in the ranking. That's something you don't don't see all the time. You know, sometimes you play against people quite a ways away from you on the same level. Oh, this is the Sultai Command deck. I don't love playing against this one either. shock again you know we could shock disinformation campaign but then we're going down to 14 taking three from the branch walker going down to 11 perfect witness the ties that bind us all the land shall conquer you. Land. Perfect. Uh, that won't work. Gotta check that auto tap because we we need a bedeviled Nissa here, of course. So Vivian and hostage taker. So we'll take the Vivian. I would like to keep that card. Thank you. And if they play, if they play hostage taker, he just takes the three three.
Well, we've we've really curved out well this game. A lot of good interaction. The campaign's been nice. <clears throat> uh, I don't think I've seen a Bant proliferate with Vivian combo deck. I don't think I've seen a deck like that. Yeah, and they just don't have don't have the resources to survive anymore with Dragon God out there. Definitely want this other Ritual of Soot. Want the Contempt. Um, this card's pretty bad against Hostage Taker. I think this deck's good against Jeskai Walkers. We have we have just a lot of Planeswalker removal. And we have some cards that are kind of hard for them to deal with. And like Thought Erasure campaign, those cards are awesome there. War Boss is really clutch in the sideboard to attack and everything. War Boss is a big key to that matchup. It's not like we like are like huge favors favorites or anything like that, but I think we're pretty good there. Uh, I was Last time I played this deck, I, I played against the, that Jeskai deck twice, and I won both matches. Um, I think I'm just going to do this. Yeah, War Boss is basically the new Thieves Andy. It's just a lot better against Teferi Time Raveler. Um, it passes the... You know, War Boss passes the Teferi test where Thieves Andy doesn't. It's the big difference. So we'll have Steam Vents, Swamp, Dragon Skull Summit for our first lands there. If we were only on the play, we could cry the Canarium away this board. But do I risk? I don't. I don't think I can risk risk them just having like a five mana Planeswalker here. You know, I can't. I can't wait till next turn for Cry the Carnarium because if they just drop Nissa, then I'm dead, or like close to dead, deadish. Good. Three, two. I can cry away those. Oh, love it. No, hate it. I thought it was gonna be another Land War Elf. Ugh, I thought it was gonna be another Land War Elf. I was all excited there for a second. That was a duress. They did have the Nissa. Alright, we gotta draw Ritual Set. It's not Ritual Set. This game was would have been so much different on on the uh, on on the play, having the cry after their turn two. No one knows the wilds like I do. Haven't drawn an, a non-land yet. All, all four of our draw steps were lands, because we kept the four lands, three spells. So we, so we haven't done a, as good of a job of curving out this time. We've drawn land, 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 land. Where's Ritual of Soot? Got one more draw. Come to me.
don't think their deck does too much better than that. That was really nice. Elf on one. Druid on two. Jade Light on three. Then Vivian, then Nyssa. Then Hydrocrasis. After an empty hand. Um, do I need this moment of craving? No. Jay Gomez, continuing that gifted sub. Thanks, Jay Gomez. I'm going to mark that down towards the sub goal today. Thanks for keeping that going. I was a I was gonna Angrass Rampage that away. because uh, you know I want a campaign on three and then I want Discovery to pick up campaign. Um Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. But ram basically saving Rampage because Rampage can take out a Planeswalker. Hoping they don't have Vivian. Alright, this is not as bad. We are all connected. The land fights for us. Absolutely, give me that ritual set. Absolutely. Get rid of their one black source here. So we'll see if they have negate or not. Nope. Now, do they have Command the Dread Horde? Well, they don't have the mana to cast it because they don't have black mana, so I guess I don't have to be that worried about it. GG's. The, up, the uptick in Nyssa these days certainly isn't, like, that's another reason why I wanted that third Ritual of Soot in the sideboard because uh, of, like, that, that version. Really want that extra Ritual of Soot there. Yeah, we may get top hundred if we if we win this. I don't think I've I don't think I've been top hundred before. Nissa is really strong. Yeah, Nissa is really strong. See, even that version, the Soul Tie with, is not as bad. The four color is kind of tough. But I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's really not so bad. So we did win that match pretty convincingly, but I guess that's what our deck does. The games that we win, we win convincingly. Hey, what's up, Liams? Hello. Every deck we've played so far, all four are, are mana creature decks. Mana creatures are kind of everywhere. Kind of everywhere.
Which is why Cry the Carnivium or Ritual is set are so good. And Deafening Clarion, too. I want to try to keep the... Like, I want to slam this card next turn. I want to keep the battlefield clear if I can. Sun. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down there. Gruel Immortal Sun Aggro. That almost hurt. I outsmarted you eons ago. That's right, eons ago. All right, do they get to kill our dragon god? Not quite yet. I guess I should have just done this Thought Erasure first anyway, though. They likely had a spell, and um, but they still chose a land. Hmm. Do I want to kill the 2-1? I guess so. I, I was thinking about just playing as Kanta here, but I guess we just play we just kill the two one. I'm not too worried about this rekindling Phoenix. I'll find a way to deal with it eventually. They just don't have permanence. Another time, Planeswalker. Yeah. Well, basically, we had we had the backup bola, so I wasn't I wasn't as concerned there. Um, which that's yeah, we'll just get rid of the phoenix now, and I'll get us Kanta in play. Yeah, maybe I should have done that last turn. I was just digging for more stuff. There you go. Yeah, try the Arcbow deck. Yeah, that's that's a good one against mana flooding for sure. So we're playing against Gruel. Gruel non planeswalker. Good news is Grixis can handle artifacts. We can handle Immortal Sun a little bit. We got two Bedevils and a Rampage. So I got three answers there the last time I took out campaign if they're trying to get to immortal sun I do like campaign more so I'm gonna take it I guess I'm gonna still take out campaign though and I'm gonna take out the Ugin Ugin pretty slow expensive I want to keep all the discoveries. Because dispersal is another way to deal with Immortal Sun, too. Yeah, we had a Tron deck that we played uh, for best of... We played it in best of one, and it did pretty well. Um, the mono green Tron. I have, my YouTube video, I have my YouTube page up. I can find the video and click on it. Just got to scroll down just a little bit. Look for... Tron there. 
you can find that the deck list is in the um, deck list is in the description there too. Hey, thanks, Jelly. No, I don't think Old Rel has a place really in Grixis. Nickel Bolas is just a lot stronger, and you would just play more more copies of Nickel Bolas before Rel. Thing about Ral is Ral isn't always a removal spell. Like if you have a weird game where you have a bunch of non instants and sorceries before you get to Ral. So would I rather get hit by Spellbreaker or let them cast Phoenix? I think I'd rather let them cast Phoenix. How am I going to deal with this? Oh, wait, I'm going to Contempt the Phoenix. Right. Yeah, I'll just keep this thing. So we're going to steal one Hellkite here. Or maybe I just cry, and then they can't cast... Yeah, actually, I just cry here. So then next turn I can double Thought Erasure Hellkites. And then I can Tempt. So we're going to go down to 10. <clears throat> so they're Spyglass and Immortal Sun. Alright, well hopefully they draw lands for a couple of turns. And I can start using this as Kanta. There we go. Yeah, I'll just I'll just get Ascanta going. Ow. Yeah, it's a feather deck. Yeah, we're gonna play feather the feather deck up next. It's pretty strong. I've been really liking it. Ooh. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's do this. Sit back and watch it burn. Hmm. Well, we're just kind of in the awkward spot of. I have a few openings for more Didn't have like the seven mana to activate Nickel Bolas the Ravager. Couldn't enter the God Eternals anything. As you can tell, I just I'm just sitting back with this because they have so much haste stuff. I'm playing Bolas because I'm gonna I was planning on activating Bolas next turn. I was planning on bedeviling this by glass and having Bolas kill Sarkin. That's what I was planning. But obviously. Sarkin can kind of change things a little bit here. All right, we're still one mana away from doing both of these. I 
Because yeah, if I just if I would have just bedeviled Chandra, then I like I'm never unlocking this Nicol Bolas basically. Back up to 11. That's good. So yeah, the Feather deck that we're going to be playing here in a little bit, it's it's really based around having uh, good, solid creatures. It's not it's not necessarily like a, a dedicated make Feather the best card it can possibly be. It's a, like a Naya aggro deck. A lot of haste creatures that has uh, Feather and some uh, versatile tricks. Oh, this is a bad attack. Oh, I should just like let them have Domri. And, no and just stay back and block. Because now they can kill Nicol Bolas if they want to attack, they want to sacrifice their war boss. We're still doing just fine, though. We'll be fine. They are not trading war boss for... Nicol Bolas? That's an easy trade. I really should attack with both. Mm. Take this, it's cheap. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. Number 66. GG's. So, Balding Eddie, yeah, you've been liking the band Arcbow? Nice. Anything you've been struggling with with the deck? All right, we're going to play one more match here. We're playing, we play five, five ranked matches. So let's play one more. And 3-2 is always what we want to try to do, so we're, we're ahead of the curve here. Hey, GG, Sork. Yeah, good games there. Sorry, the, the first one, you were just stuck on me in a little bit there. I had that cry of the carnarium that kind of ended that one. Sorry about that. But that, that second game was a nice, a nice, good long game. So if I would have killed the war boss and then have them sacrifice the phoenix, they'll just get the phoenix back. So by bouncing the phoenix, then they have to spend like their whole next turn on replaying the Phoenix and I'm activating Maya's Kanta again and it's they're just not gonna be winning from there. Like we're just too far ahead. They can't really spend another turn on recasting Phoenix. So there isn't any card advantage, Do you, but you know what you don't really need it. I don't know. You got, you got arc bow. You're good. Um, yeah. I usually regret it any time I wait for discovery and like wait till after 
I campaign and um, you know try try to wait till after I campaign to be able to pick the campaign back up. I basically always regret it because by that time I have like other things that I'm gonna want to be doing. Those cards were not ideal. Don't have anything to play next turn yet. Okay, now we do. That's a good one. Yep, this is one of the decks considering for the weekend. Basically, I have four decks that I'm considering right now. Uh, this one, Bant Arcbo, the one that we'll play later, and then the two we played yesterday, Gruel Midrange and Four Color Dreadhorde. All right, so the Ugin. You know, they could just draw a land and be able to play Ugin, which they did just draw the land. They couldn't just draw a land and then play Mass Manipulation. I can use this Disinformation campaign, and now, especially with the other Disinformation campaign, I can use those to clear out my opponent's hand first. Um before playing this. The problem is I kind of want to do that this turn. But I also kind of want to bedevil this druid. Taking six. Campaign here. That's fine. Okay, so I got seven mana. <laughs> Whew, that was a good one. Wow, Tamio manipulation, manipulation. Yes, please get those out of there. Get those out of there. And then my plan next turn is to go double. That's annoying. All right, less annoying. That's really unfortunate. So when we could just wait one turn. The whole of the multiverse will bend. Give me this back. I will return one day. They should be like hopefully they're basically out of manipulations. We've seen uh, three manipulations. All right. Yeah, love love disinformation campaign in this matchup. 
being able to help attack their hand. Definitely love that card. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, and what tier is Grixis Control? I don't know. I don't... I've never been a big fan of the whole tier stuff. I don't... Everything's just kind of changing, and, like, every... Like, so many decks have, like, good matchups against other decks and bad matchups against other decks, and... I've never thought about decks in tiers, honestly. I just don't... I don't think that's a very productive... Uh, or just useful um, way to be thinking. So they have Ugin, Tamio, Nissa. Hmm. I'm going to cut a Kefnet. Kefnet's an easy thing to steal. This is not bad. Like, you know, we draw blue mana. We get Ascanta here. That would be perfect. Love it. Ascanta is really good in this matchup. I do this now. Definitely considering waiting. Good. This is the card. This Nis, Negate is the card that I was worried about for the Ascanta. Woo, really glad I did that. That was basically the, the one reason why I wanted to play that on turn one was because they could negate the Ascanta. Alright, Ascanta's already doing its job. Alright, we got to play only black sources. We gotta play these two lands our next two. We need three black sources. Good job, Ascanta. I'm not going to play Nickel Bolas here, because if I play Nickel Bolas, then they just play Nissa and kill Bolas, and that's a little annoying. They're going to want to they're trying to protect Nissa with Disdainful Stroke, which is nice. Yeah, that's nice. It was actually pretty bad for me right now. I guess I could have just had... Maybe I should have just held Contempt there instead of playing the campaign. That's Yeah, that's probably just too greedy for me to play the campaign here. I need to hold Contempt right now. Hopefully we draw Bedevil. And Grass Rampage. Negate, Duress, Thought Erasure. Any of those. That's not bad. That's not bad. Got six. So we got the disdainful stroke out of their hand. Now we need to 
Now I need to top deck a land. And flip as Kanta. That's the seventh card. Land flip as Kanta. I can ritual of sit away the creatures and contempt Nissa. Land. Okay. So we just gotta hope they don't have a counter spell. Oh, I didn't even need the land. Right. I had eight. I had eight with the Ascanta flip. Sweet. Uh, let's just go ahead and try this. That's tilt. That's gonna make this harder. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Ow. Yeah. All right, so I messed up with the campaign. That was that was the the play I messed up that game with that campaign all right so they're playing negates disdainful strokes this card's pretty good against nissa i guess i don't know if that means i want to play it All right, game three of our last match here. Had two good close games so far in this one. I'm going to wait a turn to duress. I'm going to let them draw that eighth card so I can look at eight cards instead of seven cards. Just have more information. It's possible that card was their <clears throat> eighth card that they that we would have whiffed if we would have turned one to rest. It's possible. Well, so you never know if that two life is gonna save you. You saw like that last game we were we were at two like that last turn. them from playing like a Nissa next turn. So Nicol Bolas is a good play unless they have Nissa, then it turns into a bad play. Could go discovery campaign. Yeah, there there are ways away from mass manipulation. I'm gonna just hope they don't have Nissa. And go for the best play I can. My intellect is without limit. Good, no Nissa. Mere scratches. That's pretty sweet. No! Let your weak minds crumble. Fail. 
behold nature's true power. Well, I guess I need to do this before it attacks while we were into attackers. See, they could have, like, gotten rid of that. Your existence the is pointless. All right, I do like the extra land here. So I can campaign plus have Tyrant Scorn up. In case of another Nyssa. There goes a the manipulation. All right. Four and one today with Grixis control. It felt good. It felt good the, the last time we played it too. So we are, uh, I went five and one last time we played it two days ago. We went four and one today. Both losses were just to command the Dread Horde. That kind of feels like the one card that that beats us is specifically command the Dread Horde. Uh, we beat a Command the Dreadhorde deck that didn't, that wasn't able to cast Command the Dreadhorde. We won the games against the Command the Dreadhorde deck when they didn't cast Command the Dreadhorde. But we lost the games where they did cast Command the Dreadhorde. Those are the games we lost. But, so yeah, maybe maybe we need on more ego on the sideboard. Just putting on more ego on the sideboard makes your deck worse against other things because, you know, I, I like all the cards that we have in our deck against all the other stuff, basically. There's nothing in my sideboard that I really want to cut, which is kind of the problem. I like this other Contempt. I like this Soot. I like this Enter the God Eternals. I love the War Bosses. Uh, maybe one of the two Elder Spells. Maybe that's that's a We could turn one of those into one Unmoored Ego. I guess negate or elder spell, but I kind of like negates. I don't love them. Maybe that's where we could find. I think either one negate or one elder spell. I guess that those would be the best spot where we could find for an unmoored ego or a command the dread horde um, ourselves, because we're talking about playing our own command the dread horde to try to defeat the command the dread horde decks. The problem with that, of course, is we don't really have the life gain unless unless we get like their wild growth walkers and everything. Um, war bosses come. War bosses are like important against like the Jeskai Super Friends deck, and then just other, all the other control matchups. Uh, which control decks are kind of popular. You know, you just randomly play. You know, you play against other Grixis decks or Esper decks or whatever. Any of those kind of things. That's where war boss comes in. Um, the problem with negate against Dread Horde is. <clears throat> like the four color versions playing Little Teferi. If they have Little Teferi out, you don't get to actually negate it. Um, I don't like Ashiok at all. Um, <laughs> I just I don't think it really impacts the the game enough. And it's very fragile and. I don't know. I don't think it just always like I don't think it trades for I don't think it trades for a single spell all the time. I could be wrong here, I'm just not convinced of it. <clears throat> yeah, we could have Tibalt. Tibalt's a good answer for Command the Dreadhorde, can't gain life, but no, we just don't deal damage to the Command the Dreadhorde deck and they just you know, even just using it paying ten life and getting two planeswalkers, you know, getting like a Tamio and a Nickel Bolas as we saw, like that's just too backbreaking. But yeah, the deck deck's really strong, very solid, and I, and I like our I like this list as you saw. Like I like the the numbers that we have on everything except for specifically against one single card in the metagame. It's the one card that's a problem. It's not really the rest of the deck. It's like the one card. So <clears throat> I'll still think about it, and I'll you know 
But I think that's that's where I'm leaning right now is maybe take out an elder spell for maybe an unmoored ego and just ego the command and try to fight through everything else. Maybe that's the plan. I don't love that plan, but maybe that's that's the plan. You know, I don't love it. Uh, how do we deal with Nexus? Basically, we just don't get paired against it. Basically, nobody plays Nexus anymore. I haven't played against Nexus in a really long time. That's the plan against Nexus. Hey, what's up, Rack for Life? Thanks for that resub there. If we do have to get paired against Nexus, then we just... That's where our, we just try to have Legion War Boss right away. And, you know, thought, have Duress, Thought Erasure, try to take, like, some key spells and have War Boss finish games quickly. That's our realistic answer. The Kefnet's awesome. The Kefnet's just great. Um, yeah, the Kefnet is, is just awesome. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'm not, I'm not, uh, yeah, the, the main phase Nexus deck with Nyssa, I'd, I don't. I don't worry about that. That one we have, we have a lot of removal spells for Planeswalkers, so that one we can kill the Nissas and everything, and I'm not too worried about that matchup. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay, uh, but yeah, that's that's uh, Grixis Control. Uh, if you are watching this video later on on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it, but you know, thanks for watching, and hope you hit that like button over there, and the subscribe button would be nice too. But yeah, that's it for Grixis Control. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you for the next video.